everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa, and today we're gonna do a quick and easy glowy makeup routine. Now, this is kind of my go-to for when I don't have a whole lot of time, but I wanna look polished and put together. Um, I tend to gravitate more towards a dewy look in those situations. I find um, it's just kind of easier for me to put together. It doesn't require as many products. And I just feel like it kind of looks a bit more natural in that respect. So I wanted to show you guys how I do that today. And I got my roots done. So let's do some low maintenance makeup, you know, in stark, stark contrast to my ridiculously high maintenance hair. Okay, so to start, I have already just moisturized and I did put my sunscreen on. So I put my moisturizer on and then I put my sunscreen on and I just wanted to mention that because I kind of haven't touched on that at all in any of my other videos. It's kind of like that one step that I keep forgetting to even talk about. Um, what I'm using right now, this is by Shiseido and it's SPF 50 and I have no idea what it's actually called. I get this on Amazon and it's only like eight bucks. It will take a while to come in because it's coming from overseas. Um, but this one doesn't disrupt my makeup. It goes on nicely. I do put it on pretty well in advance so everything has a time to sink in so it doesn't pill up or do anything weird under my makeup. Um, but I will try to find what it's called on Amazon so you can search on Amazon for it if you wanna pick this up and try it. Um, and that'll be below in the description box as well as everything else that I'm gonna be using today. But I just wanted to mention that really quick because this is such an important step in skincare and makeup routines and I've never even mentioned it and I've gotten some questions about it lately. But yes, I've been wearing sunscreen um, since I was like 18, 19 under my makeup every single day. My mom always taught me to do that. So just wanted to say that yes, yes I do that. Okay. So we're gonna start out with priming. I'm gonna put my marula oil under my eyes because I have to. It's just the way it goes. So just put that, pat that in. And today, since we're doing a more glowy look, I am gonna go with the Unicorn Essence, the Farsali. Um, I'm not gonna drip it on my face because I don't, I don't even understand the point of that. I'm just gonna rub this on mostly just my cheeks and forehead. Um, and then I'm gonna come in with my Tarte, my time, my Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing one, and just put it on my nose, because that's that's where um, my pores look the largest, and it just helps it smooth it out. And I do feel like this helps um, my makeup stick on my nose, which I always have such a lovely problem with. So that's it for the prime of that. And today I'm going to use, well, I'm going to go in a little bit of a different order than I normally would because I kind of do this makeup look a little bit different. So I'm going to come in with an under eye corrector first, and I use the Ket. This is their color corrector in light. And now this is a kind of a different product. It feels really um, kind of hard when you first go in, but you kind of just kind of warm it up. It's like a wax-based product. Uh, so you just kind of warm it up on your finger, and then I'm just going to tap it under my eyes. It just has a little bit of corrector to it. Um, not like super, super peach or anything. They do have other colors though. Um, I'm just gonna come in with my sponge. This is the L'Oreal one I usually use for my concealer. I'm just gonna go pat that in. I'm just kind of smooth it out a little. And that is it. So now I'm gonna come in with my foundation. So for my foundation today, I'm gonna to use the Hourglass. This is the Illusion, the Hyaluronic Skin Tint. I have the shade Vanilla, and I really just like the finish this gives. It's definitely more of a glowy finish. It's not a super, um, you know, full coverage foundation or anything. I'm just taking a little dollop of it. We're gonna just put it on like any other foundation I normally put on. And I find this one wears very well also. Um, it's not like, you know, you're not gonna get like super duper long wear out of it or anything, but it does stay longer than a lot of more like, I don't know, some of the more like BB cream type foundations. Um, so I really, really have been enjoying this one. I picked this up after I returned the Hourglass Vanish Stick that was a disaster on my face. Um, so, but I've really been enjoying this one. It's probably because it's made more for drier skin types and it just, my skin really likes it. It 
it's just gave me a nice like even skin tone and it still has just a really nice skin like finish so I've really been enjoying this one and so I'm not actually going to use any concealer today I'm gonna come back into my skin tint here and just get like a little tiny bit of it on my finger just barely get some off I'm just gonna press it under my eyes and then I'm gonna blend it out with my sponge my little concealer sponge and that's gonna be my concealer today I'm not going to actually wear any just compress it up on top of my eyelids as well kind of try to cover some of that veining and that is it for that I'm not even going to set that with any powder up under my eyes I feel like when I want to do like this kind of glowy more natural look I don't want any powders um, and that's kind of why I use the skin tint up under my eyes too just because it's I like the finish of it more than a lot of my other concealers which are definitely more you know kind of matte and stuff and so I just leave it like that if it gets creasy and weird looking during the day you can always just like press it again um, you know and just kind of like get those little lines out and I don't know I like how much more natural that you know kind of looks and feels on me so and with these type of looks I always feel like the most important feature of this is your skin and you know the actual just like kind of base complexion products here I don't I won't do much to my eyes but I will spend a whole lot more time on my face and I wouldn't always do this step but I figured I'd show it to you anyway I am just gonna do my normal little bit of cheek contour this is the Fenty um, this is the matchsticks this is an amber this is my absolute favorite contour color I use this every time I contour this is what I use so and I just do it like really subtly like that's it like that's that's my contour I, that's all I do and then I take my same beauty blender and when I come in to blend it I kind of push it up more I don't blend this way I blend more like upward and in that hollow just because I don't want to pull it down this way and now that my roots are done I've got to be like real careful of what happens in that area I mean and this one is not a necessary step if you were in a hurry skip it and that is it and I included that step today just to show you and also because I'm not going to use any kind of a bronzer product on my face so it just gives me a little bit more color into my skin than what I would have if I wasn't gonna do that um, so now I'm gonna move on to blush and what I like to use for these types of days I have these bite multi sticks I'm in two different colors I have Lotus and I have gelato and these are the more um, pinkish ones I find a lot of them to be very brownish and um, let me just show you that one is Lotus and this one is gelato this one's the gelato is like definitely more purple and gray um, but these are the more pink ones that they have I what I did actually you know go to Sephora and look at all of them and like I said a lot of them are definitely more brown toned but if that works with your skin tone then I think you have a whole lot of options um, I think I'm gonna go for the more pink one today so I'm gonna use Lotus and what I do with this I don't put it directly on my face I take my beauty sponge whatever I'm using and I just like kind of just get a little bit on the sponge and then I go in and just kind of start tapping it on I don't know I just have this weird fear of just like drawing this like stripe on my face of this stuff so I'm just I try to be careful with it um, and I also just don't want to disrupt you know my makeup or anything underneath so just kind of do this give my cheeks a little bit of color and I also will say that I tend to gravitate towards cream based products when I'm doing any type of more like natural look because I just find that they they blend in more with the skin and like you don't see anything kind of sitting on top of the skin like you can with powders so you're gonna see a lot of more cream based products today and then I'm gonna keep this one handy because I'm gonna use it again for other things because these are the multi sticks and you can use these everywhere you can use them on your cheeks your eyes your lips pretty much anywhere you want to put them 
So for highlighter, I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs, the Do You Do Drops. Um, I think that for this step, you can use pretty much any liquid highlighter you want. Um, I've got plenty of them. I just kind of went for this one. It's very just kind of champagne-y. It's kind of more of a natural sheen, so that's why I went with this one today. I'm going to actually put it on my palette because this thing pumps out a ton. And it just, I mean, like, seriously, that is so, like, that would cover my entire face. And I'm not doing that. So I'm gonna go back in with my beauty sponge. I'm just gonna use the end again. I'm just gonna dip in here, with try to just get a little bit, which is almost impossible, and then kind of just tap it back out on the mirror because I feel like I, it's just so much. So I, I try to do this very light-handed, very conservatively, because I just don't want to end up with so much highlighter on my face. So I'm just coming in, and I do like to go up kind of the sides here, and I kind of hit more on top of my blush too than I normally would with a highlighter just because I'm kind of looking for that you know more dewy look in general so I'll just keep coming in making sure I'm getting enough of it like off my sponge after I dip in um, I'll come and do the other side here come in I'm gonna do a little bit on my cupid's bow and then I'm going to do just a tiny bit above my eyebrows. And there we go. We are nice and glowy. One other thing I like to, I really like to use this for is if I'm wearing absolutely no makeup, like not even no makeup makeup, I mean just no makeup. I'll take a little bit of this on my fingers and I will just put it, you know, on my cheekbones and stuff and go about my day. And it just gives it a nice little bit of a sheen without having to go through, you know, a huge makeup routine. For my eyes, I'm going to come back in with this multi-stick, and I'm just going to put it just on my lid and just blend it in with my finger. Just to give me a little bit of color, and it's kind of nice when you do it that way because you kind of have this monochromatic thing going on. And then I'm going to take this is the, these are just like these single L'Oreal shadows, and this one is in Mademoiselle Pink. And I'm just going to dust that. I'm taking this big ColourPop brush. I'm going to take this, I'm just going to dust it all over my lid, just so my lids don't look kind of creasy. And that's it. I'm going to keep this little brush out, and I'm going to come in. This is uh, the ColourPop uh, Super Shock Cheek. Ugh. And this one is in the shade Scrumptious. And I'm going to come in with this. I'm going to take this brush. Just get a little on the brush. Now, these are, if you've never played with these, these are a very strange consistency. When you touch them, they almost feel kind of like a putty. Um, but you can use them with your fingers. You can use them with a brush. Um, they're, they're, they're very interesting. Um, and then I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to come in the top of that highlight. And then I'm going to pull it on to my eyelid. It's like making this kind of C-shaped. And just go like that and I know I don't know if this is some kind of a technique I have no freaking idea but this is what I like to do I like to take the highlighter and blend it in up there and it just kind of I don't know kind of highlights that area so another reason why I don't like to set concealer in that area because it ends up having quite a bit of powder products on top of it anyway so I feel like it looks it just gets real cakey looking if you're gonna do all of this together but it just gives it a little bit extra of a sheen and I would say you notice it definitely more you know when you're outside in the natural light but there's something about just like pulling this into like the, almost like kind of your crease right here and making this C shape that just I don't know I really love the way it looks and it's kind of one of my favorite things to do when I'm doing like a glowy look and now I'm gonna move on to my brows I'm gonna use the Glossier the boy brow and I just have this in brown and it's just this tiny little little brush with brow gel stuff on it and I'm just gonna come in and kind of lightly just you know just kind of thicken up my brows a little bit and just kind of make sure that they look a little more filled in but I keep them really natural looking I don't want I don't want to like have a really um, like carved out looking uh, well well defined brow with this type of a look So I got the brow 
the boy brow in the eyebrow. And just come back in with the spoolie. This is just one from e.l.f. And just kind of spoolie that through. Make sure they still look really natural. But just, you know, just a little filled in. And that is it. I'm going to come in and I'm going to curl my lashes. For mascara, I'm going to start with this Maybelline Colossal Big Shot, and we're going to see if I want to stick with that route or not. I don't know. We'll have to see. Because I definitely want some lashes for this. And this one usually gives me some good volume and length quickly. Um, and that's kind of why I gravitated towards this one today, to just make sure it's kind of speedy. I'm going to come in the bottom lashes with my handy dandy Lash Discovery. Just define those a little bit. Okay, so now for my lipstick, I'm going to go back into the multi-stick, and I'm just going to put a little bit of the color on and just kind of rub it in with my finger. Because this is a matte color, and I want, you know, I want more of that glowy look. So I'm just going to kind of rub it in just so I have a little bit of a wash of color on my lips. And then I'm going to come in with the Marc Jacobs gloss. This is in Sugar Sugar. This is one of my favorite glosses. This thing lives in my purse. I wear this one all the time. It looks great on its own, and it looks beautiful almost everything I, over almost everything I have. Just come in and put a little bit of that on. I don't want too much of anything today. So there we have that. And then the final step is the setting spray. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay All Nighter because I really just want this makeup to stay as long as it can, especially with it not being set with any real powder products or anything. So I'm just gonna spray my face. Let that dry, and there we have it. So that is it. That is my simple, glowy, everyday sort of routine. Now, for me, I will say that is simple. I know it's still a lot of products probably for a lot of people, but it's less than like, you know, like my everyday going to work sort of thing. This is just kind of my go-to when I want to look, you know, polished and put together, but I don't want to spend a ton of time on it. And I just, I love the way it feels on my skin. Nothing feels heavy. It just, it's just a nice, like fresh look. And especially I feel like with my age, um, you know, I kind of want to look a little bit fresh sometimes. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel so you can see what I have coming in the future. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.